Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more This War of Mine, the last broadcast. Um, this is not our standard opening for a day. So I'm a little concerned about what's about to happen. I mean, Malik's all alone and defenseless right now. And we've kind of been upsetting the military up to this point. So I might be about to witness something I'm really not going to want to see. Very elegantly phrased, I know, but that's the best I can do right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Um, sounds to me like the military may have finally caught up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. On the plus side, I don't think I've seen the developers use, uh, like, a third dimension for, um cars and stuff like that before. That's pretty cool. Oh, dear. Oh, no. They're breaking in. Malik, um... I really hope that you hear this and you're ready to go down fighting, because, uh... It sure as heck sounds like something bad's about to happen. You've got the music on way too loud. And weren't you abstinent? You're not supposed to be smoking. What are you doing? Malik! Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, crap. 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 Please tell me they're just gonna capture him. Uh, nope. No, they are not. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. Okay. We knew this was a possibility going into this, but, um... Crap. Now what? Oh, Esma, I'm so sorry. Frickin' heck. Malik, what happened here, my dear? Why? No, please. Why were you so stubborn? Why? I let this happen. Malik is dead. They came in the night and shot him in cold blood. I should have protected him. Very hungry, depressed, very tired. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to control her and make her do anything right now. This is my fault. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, we did, I think, the right thing leading up to this point still, but, like, yeah. How, how do you survive this and not feel like it's all your fault? Numerous bruises indicate that he was brutally beaten and mutilated. After they shot him? Those jerks can come after me, too. I have nothing to live for anymore. Uh, on that note, let's get you fed. <clears throat> um... <laughs> Seems kind of important. If we don't get another teammate, what are we going to do? Malik, my love, I don't want to live without you. I swear, if you make me lose control of her right now and something horrible happens, I'm going to be very angry. I mean, already a little upset, right? But for real, if, if all of a sudden I lose control and she goes walking off to the edge and jumps or something like that, I'm going to get very peeved. Very peeved very quickly. Well, um, first things first, I guess, definitely get her fed. Uh, she's gonna need to sleep most of the day. She's very tired. And, honestly, I can't say that I blame her. Going through severe emotional trauma like this, it does have a tendency to really wreak havoc on you, you know? Now, maybe you don't know. I hope you never do know, let's say that. But going through some really serious stuff like that, it takes its toll on the body, leaves you completely drained. Okay, well, we need to put some more fuel in the fire, because I certainly don't want to freeze to death in the meantime. Um, there's something else to explore up here. A couple things to explore, actually. Now that we're fed, we can actually, you know, run again, which is great. I guess no more, uh, no more broadcasting. Destroyed transmitter. Plenty of parts will be needed to fix it. Plenty of parts? Am I supposed to fix it now? Is that the goal? Remains of Malik's journal. Only the last page is readable. Remember Esma's birthday next week. Tell Franco beforehand to try to get flowers. Oh, what a stab in the heart. Oh, wait, who the heck is this? Someone is at the door. And you're like, of course, of course, after he's dead, you find the note that he was planning some big romantic gesture. Also, how is he going to go and talk to Franco? You have to run mom? Oh, gosh, it's the sun. Now? 
Of course, I close the door. I'll talk to you through the slit in the door. Mom, I'm so glad to see you. Is Dad all right? They killed him. No, I'm too late. They came in the night and shot him. Soldiers like you. I deserted when I heard that the army is coming after you. I wanted to warn you. I'm so sorry for everything. Will you let me in? Come in, say goodbye to your father. Dad. Oh my god. I will never forgive myself for being too late. I don't really know what to say at this point. This is... This is a pretty well-written uh, emotional moment. Um, I mean, I know it's it's just a game, but it's a story, and it's a story that's representative of something real about the human experience and what some people have actually witnessed and gone through in this world, and that's that's probably what gets me emotionally because I know that this is a very real story for somebody. Mom, I wish I'd never left you. I know that I'm too late for that, but I'm so sorry. This will not bring Dad back. It's good to see your face again, to know you're alive, but I need more time. So I'll bet you the son's now actually going to be a playable character, and I'll bet you we have to fix the radio transmitter as, like, some sort of a tribute to Dad, right? To Malik? That could be. I wish your father could hear this. Now all you can do is help me bury him. Esma needs a nap, though. I mean, like... Can he just do all the work? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. Should I go and craft a shovel first? Would that be better? No? Okay. <sighs> Who's this? She is dead tired. Stay here with your father's body. I'll find the priest and ask him about the burial. Okay. Um. I guess I'm scavenging now. I can barely move, but okay. We're going to collapse from exhaustion before the day is over. Oh good, some free timber. I can use that. Hi, priest. Esma, I'm so glad you arrived. Uh, Father, I'm here to arrange a funeral. Oh my dear, so the rumors are true. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. I should have stopped him, protected him. You mustn't blame yourself. You both brought hope into the hearts of so many people. Some of them are in my church now. Talk to them, please. I can't. It's so hard now and he's gone. I just want it all to end. You need time to heal. If you want to leave it all behind, there's a boat leaving Pagorin from Pier 9. You've earned a place on it with everything you did for the people of this city. Thank you, I'll have to think about it. Oh, we could just end that way. And don't worry about the funeral. I'll take care of everything. Just do me a favor and stay with us for a while. Talk to the people. So now we have to go through the gut-wrenching experience of finding out how much Malik meant to everybody. Please accept my condolences. After my wife passed away, Malik's voice kept me company during my long, lonely nights. I don't know what I will do without it. I'm sorry it's so difficult for me to talk about it right now. I understand very well. I've been through that. I just hope someone will continue his work. Malik is gone, and so is his radio. Nobody can replace him. The radio wasn't only Malik. I'll leave you with that thought. Be well, Esma. Yeah, they're definitely saying you need to repair that dang radio. One final gesture. Such a tragedy. First Gustav, now Malik. Gustav from the music club? What happened? The army. They learned there was plenty of radio equipment at the music club. They trashed the place to make sure we keep our mouths shut. They killed Gustav when he tried to stop them. Monsters. <sighs> the fight must go on. It must go on, Esma. You're Esma, right? You and your husband run the Pagoran Glass Radio. We did. My husband, Malik, is gone. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This war is taking the best people away. I don't care anymore. I've already lost everything. Please don't say that. There's always something or someone worth living for. My son, I didn't even tell him what a relief it was to see him again. You see? There's always a light. Be well, Esma. Be well feels like it doesn't mean much at this point, but okay. Is that Novak? You! Esma, I never had a chance to thank Malik, and now I never will. But at least I can thank you. There's nothing to thank me for. You and your husband saved our daughter. Oh, no, it's not Novak. I just can't... I couldn't tell if that was... I couldn't tell if that was the little boy. All right, she was very ill, and we heard Malik talking about the medical drop. And now he's gone. But you are not. The war is still going on, and many people are going to need help. You should carry on his work. 
Thank you for your kind words, but my family has suffered too much already. I mean, if anyone's earned a break to just walk away from it all and say I've done enough, I think Esma's earned that. But, as a matter of principle, I'd like to see her move on. Let's see if that's an option. The priest said he'll take care of everything. Some people stopped by to talk to me. They are very grateful for Father's help. So many people will miss him. But all their gratitude won't bring him back. His death doesn't have to be the end of it all. We can continue his work. It's helped so many. Or maybe we should leave this city before it kills us. There's a boat leaving from Pier 9. We can board it. I don't want to run away again. For once, I want to do what's right. What would Father want us to do? It's really late, Adem. We'll talk about it later. Okay, so that ends the night. Um, before I was really ready for it, but yeah, it ends the night. <sighs> well. Oh good, the cold days have passed. That's good timing. Right, well, um... I would bring Malik news, and now what is left? Esma looks exhausted. Perhaps we're pushing her too hard. I mean, I would say that's probably true. So, she's depressed and exhausted and hungry. My beloved husband is dead, and it's all my fault. Why was I so naive, thinking the soldiers would leave us be after all those broadcasts? I should have protected him, even lied to him if necessary. That is not even remotely what he would want. Beautiful mustache there, dude. Beautiful. Oh, also you're sick. I deserted as soon as I learned that the military was after my father, but it was already too late. I will never forgive myself. Okay, well, um, you may end up being my new scavenger for a bit. I need to find out what's involved in, um... Why? No, no one's at the door. What are you talking about? I need to find out what's going to be involved in repairing this thing. We don't need to put in any more fuel there. I do need some medicine to make sure that we are not going to stay sick. Esma needs to just sleep the entire day away. She's earned a long break. Kind of nice to have another player or another character who actually can move around the base, though, right? Trained in combat. So you're going to be like, you're going to be like Roman in that you're really good at fighting, aren't you? Yeah, I'll bet you are. No, Esma, don't get up. Gosh dang it. Get back in bed. Is it Adam or Adem? Mom, I'm with you. Don't worry, I won't leave you. You must rest. I'll take care of everything. We must be strong. I'll find a way to repair the radio. We can carry on Dad's work. I want to fight back. Okay. Uh, anything else? God, why? Why? Pull yourself together, woman! No, we're just hugging. That's not usually what the conversation icon means, but it's okay. This tragedy, it's really difficult for both of us. Whoa, my God! Did he just throw her onto the bed? Jeez. Dude. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't want to broadcast again. I want to run from the city and leave everything behind. Mom thinks we should leave everything and escape the city by boat. I know she's broken now, but we should find the transmitter parts and repair our radio. We should continue Dad's work. So I wonder if I have to go back to the music club. Like, I don't even know where I would find radio parts except for perhaps that. I have the diagram diagrams ready at the workshop. Oh, okay, hang on. This workshop, right? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see if I can uh, find out what's going on here. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we need... Oh, we have almost everything we need already. I just need to find a special transmitter. Okay, okay, that's that's good to know. I'm going to go ahead and make a second bed. Um, Just because I know that we kind of need it. We have a couple people who are sick. Adem needs to recover, obviously. And Esma needs to just sleep the entire night away, so... Uh, there might be one last big combat area we have to go through. Just because if Adem is trained in combat, like, they're not going to give him that stat if it's not helpful, right? I mean, it makes sense from a lore perspective because he was a soldier, but still. It is still, by the way, very cold. I know they said the cold days have passed, but I feel like that's a filthy lie. Filthy, I tell you. Filthy. Alright. Well, you go ahead and hop into the bed, and then you're recovering and tired, but that's going to be fine. Still sick, unfortunately. Uh, Esma is hungry and depressed, but no longer tired, so that's good. I guess I'll put you on guard. Um, we can go to St. Mary's Church or the port. I feel like we want to go to St. Mary's Church. 
Still a place for meetings for the local community, Priest Oluk is known for his charitable work and offering refuge to the poor. He might have something to give away or trade. So this is the standard church then, and this is where we did the burial. There wasn't really anything to get. I guess we could go to the destroyed music club. I heard that something terrible has happened in the music club. That might be what I need to do. So we're going to go along and we're going to bring the axe as a melee weapon. I don't know if we need anything else. Let's bring the crowbar too. And then scavenge, I guess. I'm looking for a transmitter. I don't think it's an accident that they told us that there was some place I could get a transmitter. Or that the military went there, right? Probably not. Uh, we never also explored all the way up here, I just remembered. Wait, what's this? This is new. The army was here, they didn't even bother removing the bodies. Oh, God. Gruesome, guys. So, wait, that means there's not gonna be anybody up here anymore, right? Maybe I should've brought along some military vests or something. Still says someone's at the door. We obviously have a small bug. Okay. I'm not a quiet sneaker anymore, so we gotta be careful about that. Just looking around. Trying to figure out where a transmitter could be hiding. Obviously not up here. Probably. Just making sure that I'm not gonna walk into any surprises. Nothing over there. Let's take a quick look through the door. Still nothing, okay. Yeah, we definitely didn't explore this area last time. Uh, electrical components don't seem that important. Okay, plenty of hidey holes. I guess I can go ahead and just open this up. I don't see any noise. So I'm inclined to think that this place is abandoned right now. Which would make sense, why would the military stick around, right? But, I mean, I've been surprised before. Hey look, a whole bunch of speakers. But no transmitters. Probably should not have just burst through the door like that. I don't know how to reach that place. Wait. Is that a person or is it a rat? There's definitely a person here. Um, does not mean that that person is a threat. Let's look around first. I think he's gonna be like a survivor who's like, oh god, they destroyed everything. I mean, he didn't react when I blew open the door, and usually you could hear something like that, right? So, execution was fast and brutal. Ugh, god. Destroyed audio equipment. Maybe we can use these parts to repair our radio. Please tell me you got a transmitter piece. You do! Okay. Hey. That's all I needed, right? I think it was. Keep your mouth shut if you want to live. You can't scare me anymore. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Seriously, I kind of want to go like Rambo against the entire military at this point because it feels appropriate. But still, all right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna blow the door open. Help me, please. I'm wounded and I can't move. What happened here? Soldiers stormed in and started shooting everybody. They smashed the audio equipment. They thought somebody had something to do here with your broadcasts. So now they're all dead. I'm the only survivor. Please help me. I'm badly wounded. If I had something to give, I would happily do so. Um, I don't have any bandages. Somebody just opened the door and executed him. Yeesh, man. Um, is there anywhere that would have bandages that is already here? I think I've explored everything, though. Like, I would gladly give you some. I guess I could come back and help you. That's an option. No, there's there's nothing here. All right, we're gonna break up some furniture then, since I have a hatchet. Let's just go ahead and gather some extra lumber and fuel. Just a little bit. I don't need a ton. But yeah, if I had known, I would have done something about it. Um, the axe is about to break. I'm actually gonna save that because even if it is on low durability, it's still useful as a weapon as long as you keep it around, so I'm gonna do that. Just keep it around, I can always uh, replace it or build another one if I have to. 
Yeah, so I got nothing. Um, maybe I can come back with some bandages and there's like an achievement for that or something. That would be kind of cool. I could get behind that, absolutely. Day 20. So we have everything we need. Can I just, can I just win? Can I just go and win? Uh, Esma, you are very hungry. That's fine, probably. Um, wait, what's this? Something to explore and investigate? The transmitter is badly damaged. We need to get special parts. That's... I, I already figured that out, but thank you. Alright, no need for you to be very hungry. Um, I don't know why it's acting as if we have an alcoholic beverage, by the way. It's like rubbing alcohol for medicine. That is not exactly something that I would recommend drinking. Like, ever. Um, okay. I could end right now, I think. But I'm going to just go back with some bandages and see if we can save this guy's life and maybe get an achievement for it. It doesn't take very long. So, maybe I'll have Esma do it, you know? Because maybe that'll make her a little less depressed by helping somebody? Maybe. I don't know. This, this may be totally unnecessary, and I'm just increasing the length of my game. But it's one good deed that I can do. And I think that's worthwhile. Although it did just occur to me I am sending Esma into another war zone where there's going to be a lot of uh, gruesome things to see. Alright, so you need bandages. What happened here? Yes, we've already seen all of this. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and trade with you. You need bandages. I'm going to give you that. Deal. That's it. I gave you bandages. You don't have anything else. Is that everything? That's it? Not even a thank you. Okay, well. That may have been a waste of two minutes of my time, but okay. I mean, I feel good about it. I helped somebody. It's not like I was using those bandages for anything, right? Probably. Okay. Well, we're moving on to day 21, then. Uh, Esma needs to go take a nap, and then Adem can probably just go ahead and repair the transmitter, and that might be all we need to just end the scenario. Definitely a lot longer than the uh, the last one. Still slightly sick, huh? Well, I think you'll be all right. Um, we definitely need to get some more fuel in the fire still. Don't have anything else. That's fine. All right, radio transmitter. Use up some lumber, components, electrical components, parts, special thing. And that's it. So we just go up here. And maybe it's one of those things that's going to take, like, several days to repair. No? No, that's not so bad. That's, like, what, an hour? Hour and a half at most? I'm going to go with an hour, though. That's pretty quick. Do I need to gather some news? Like, I, I don't know if this is going to be the end of the story. It feels like a good stopping place. Though we haven't really had to use a dem for, like, anything up to this point. Kind of a superfluous character, you know what I mean? That's it. All right, let's go and talk to Esma. Let her know that we are carrying on the fight. If you want to go on the boat, you can. But, I, but I'm not going to run. No, we're hugging. We're hugging again. We're giving, we're, giving, we're giving a shoulder massage. Or something. We are talking. It's tragedy. It's difficult for both of us. And I threw her off the bed again. <laughs> Mom, are you all right? I'm holding up. Don't worry. Are you sure? I know it's hard, but you have to hang in there. I need you. Oh, Adam, I just need to rest a while. Sure, Mom, I'll take care of everything. Okay. Sit down at your father's chair. Take up the mantle, Adem. And that is exactly what he's going to do, it looks like. This is Adam, Malik's son. I am broadcasting again after the soldiers murdered my father. He was brutally killed for sharing the truth with you. But his voice will not be silenced. We will carry on his work. To say what needs to be said. Because we are your voice. The voice of Pagoran. But wait, what, what exactly is going to stop... What exactly is going to stop the military from coming back here tonight? They know exactly where you are. 
Oh, shortly afterwards, the war ends. Ah, oh, if only we could have lasted another week. Oh, no. Wow. Sad stuff. Um, good story, though. Again, it feels like it was a little bit more black and white than I would have liked from this war of mine, but overall, I think it was a good story and pretty well written, and it's fun to play from that, like, angle, you know? We're not, we're not one of the standard civilians just trying to survive. We are the other guy, you know, on the other side of the radio. Like, that's pretty sweet. That is a terrifying image, by the way. Very intense eyes. Uh, all of this you've probably already seen. After the war... Adam was pardoned for his desertion from the army. He stayed in Pagorin to look after Esma and aid her in running the radio, but he was greatly pained by the fact that he failed to reconcile with his father and returned too late to save him. If only he could turn back time. Malik's death broke Esma's heart, but she found some degree of solace in continuing his mission with the help of their son. When the war finally ended, her radio station remained popular because many people remembered how much help it had been during the siege. The army, enraged by Malik's broadcasts about their war crimes, sent a death squad to his door. He was summarily executed for collusion with the rebels, but would be remembered by the people of Pagorin as somebody who had always brought them hope and fought for the truth. Good stuff. Good story. I, I like this one. Longer, different, but I think it was good. Overall, well-written, a pretty fun way to play the game. All right, well, that means there's only one story left, and that is Fading Embers. This is the newest one that released fairly recently, and I don't think I've really seen anything on this, so uh, once again, I'm going to be going into that blind next. Thank you all very much for watching, though. I do hope that you appreciated this story and this enjoyed this video, and if so, I would ask you to hit that like button. Leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I, as always, will see you guys next time.